Everyone says they want a K5 Blazer with a big block built on frame rails that'll tow the Lusitania while sporting a removable fiberglass top and front seats salvaged from a crashed airliner. That or an El Camino. Or God knows what else. Hey, I want a Saab 92, but there's only one of me. No, we all talk big, but car companies have to make money, see? And they don't make money by building retro dream machines that only you and I would ever be interested in. The awful truth is that the place they make money nowadays is in the sale of efficient, quiet crossover utility vehicles with 4G connectivity and USB ports at every elbow. Go ahead and grow, but it's where the big bucks are buried. For the mid-sized two-row crossover customer, the business case was that they weren't looking for body on frame, said Blazer engineer Larry Metalco. Same thing with off-roading that's not what this Blazer was ever going to be. There are a few things about it that you could call Camaro-esque. But our intent all along was to offer dry road performance, kind of like a sports sedan. Some competitors have more emphasis on utility, this one has more emphasis on the sport. Hence, Chevrolet introduces an all-new Blazer and no, it is not anything at all like the mighty and terrible K5 Blazer you used to go mud-bogging in back in the glorious 1970s. The wind noise alone on your old K5 can send customers screaming into the night, not to mention the near total lack of interior usability, the abysmal fuel mileage, crash worthiness about equal to that guy who went over Niagara Falls in a barrel in the K5S almost complete lack of cup holders and USB ports. Your old K5 just wouldn't sell in today's overcooked marketplace. So what Chevy did is bring to market a modern, very practical, and possibly sporty crossover SUV and, right or wrong, they slapped the Blazer name on it. Yes, the new Blazer is yet another modern and very practical crossover SUV. Yes, there are a lot of them here already. I tried to count them all but my eyes started bleeding at about midway through the alphabetical list of manufacturers. The 2019 Blazer slots perfectly into the formerly gaping hole in the Chevy lineup between the Equinox and the Traverse. It rides on a unibody that is shared, more or less, with a few other GM CUVs. Within this architecture, there are three distinct variations on a theme as defined by track width, said Michalco. The first is the XT5 Cadillac, then GMC Acadia, then we grew it and did Traverse and end play. This is the third version, the sporty version. It competes with the Ford Edge, Nissan Murano, and Jeep Grand Cherokee in the mid-size CUV segment. The Honda Passport is coming to the market, too. The folks, the Grand Cherokee is by far the biggest seller, moving 224,908 out dealer doors last year. Edge is half that, Murano half again. But nobody ever went broke underestimating the size of the crossover utility market in America. At least not so far this year. The new Blazer comes to market with two engine choices and a variety of trim levels. Entry buyers get a 2.5 liter Ecotec 4 making 193 HP and 188 LVFT of torque good for a towing capacity of 1,500 pounds. The new generation 2 high feature 3.6 liter V6 makes a far more usable 308 HP and 270 LVFT of torque that can tow 4,500 pounds behind without frame rails. Both engines are mated to a 9-speed automatic. The 4-banger is front-wheel drive only, but the V6 offers both front and all-wheel drive. Mileage ratings aren't that far apart, the i4 returns 25 mpg on the EPA combined cycle, while the FWD V6 gets 22 and the FWD V6 21. The AWD V6 has a trick rear end that'll send power to the outside wheel in a turn, more of it if you switch the driving mode to sport. This helps you get through corners quicker than all the other crossover utility vehicles. Go ahead and dive bomb that soccer parent into the on-ramp you've got a blazer, baby. The base model 4-cylinder, FWD starts at $29,995 while the top-of-the-line premier stickers at $43,895.
sportiest of all is the Ars model, at $41,795, which I drove with a WD. Now I know it's blasphemy to consider any kind of mid-size crossover a performance vehicle, and this is no GMC type, anyone's old enough to remember that in short of the Jeep Grand Cherokee track hawk and two or three times the dome, but within the confines of the generic mid-size crossover segment, you'd have to hand the performance crown to the Blazer. I spent a day in a Blazer Rs and managed to find a few curves here and there as well as more than my fair share of high-speed freeway on and off ramps, and I can tell you that it is a surprisingly fun performer. Watch the hood line as you go through a turn and will notice there is very little roll. The Rs model gets 40% stiffer front with person struts and a 15% increase in shock stiffness for the 5-link rear. All Blazers get high-performance cross-axis ball joints for greater lateral stiffness, Chevy says. That's on top of what Chevy calls high-rate suspension springs and large diameter stabilizer bars on all the other Blazer trims. Likewise, steering goes up from the not-so-bad 16.1-1 on most Blazers to 15.1-1 on the Mars trim. It will wake you up on a drive, certainly by CUV standards but maybe also by some sporty sedan standards if you start paying attention to it. It's worth a test drive, at least.